Hello guys and welcome to Jarelina's Reborn Nursery. Here I am with Mrs. JC number two. I have painted this baby as a costume. Um, I do not uh, take costumes, but I decide to make an exception to this lady. And she was very, very uh, gentle and very kind. So I want to show you, um, I want to change her into the um, clothing she will travel to her home and also show you her details. I will put um, some more photos in Instagram. You can find me in Instagram, Jarelinas uh, underscore reborn nursery, under, sorry, Jarelinas underscore reborn underscore nursery. That's it's the correct no, uh, name. So I want to show you her details. The lighting is not, not the best, but it's what I have. So this young lady has a neck ring there. So she has a very easy movement side to side. I had to curl up her hair for her mommy to see. And she can wear her hair like that. And also flatten flat too. So she's a very cute baby. And she has a magnet in her head to wear um, some bows that she will come to her mommy with. Also I want to show you if the lighting allows me to her ears and she got her ears pierced. She has her nose um, with um, some wet areas because I'm sorry my son is here. Um, and he moved the tripod so you can I don't know if you can see her nose look like wet and her eye creases too I love that and she's very fluffy she flops back very nicely and I will remove these booties from her feet for you to see her little feet there she had uh, has birthmark here and a mole in the other side and also in her face she has another mole you know I like that I try to do it with my babies and she is uh, looking like the first JC I have them painted because her mommy look at those photos and she would like to have the same and it's very hard for artists to make an identical baby um but um i am pretty happy with the skin color um when she is finished i i was very pleased she looks like the first one i have do and i feel over the moon for that because i want her mommy to be happy with this little baby and here she has her swirl but I think her hair is so curly you cannot see that but she has a beautiful swirl and you can see that in the foot pictures I will put in Instagram I will put some pictures on Instagram but I will put more and she flops back very nicely she weighs six pounds and four ounces I had stuffed her with a very um, fluffy and soft stuffing because it's more cuddly for you to hold a baby. So I will put her some jammies for her mommy to discover her slowly. I have it opened because I used it to take some photos of her on her and it had some rainbows um and beautiful bows there and also this is a a headband i had made for her so that's what she's will be wearing for traveling safely to home so we, i will remove this um, bow 
and I will dress you, baby girl. So uh, something I like about this sculpt is her feet are very curved. One feet is very curved. And when I finished um, painting and start rooting, I remove um, the head and I put every piece of the body I weighted and everything and I put them in this position without the head and in a blanket and the way she curls up is very nice I want to paint one for me <laughs> because she's so lovely she's so cute and the lighting is not, is not the best but okay so this cute little girl will travel home tomorrow Monday to her home and she has some cute outfits some bows um, her headband and she will go home in a beautiful box opening so so Sandra is if you're watching this um, I have to tell you this um, is um, I forgot the name oh my god I use this for a prop but um, fortunately, um, it, it lose a lot of hair. And if you have some white hairs, it's because of that. Um, she has a pacifier clip. And a pacifier. I will bring her up for you to see her better because of the lighting. But she is so cute. So, if you hear someone, a little mouse here is my little son. He has three years old. And I told him not to make noises. He's very quiet, <laughs> quietly here. But he's here, so I apologize if he moved the tripod and everything because he's curious of what I am doing. So I have two sons. I have one boy, uh, 14 years old boy, and I have a three years old boy. So I have, I have homeschooled them since the first one was very little, since kindergarten, so, I have not much time to reborn babies. I reborn in the nights. Um, sometimes um, during the day, I have to figure out how I, I do that things because, you know, as a parent, you need to cook, you need to clean, you need to do everything in the home. You need to take care of everything. And also as a homeschooler, parent um, you need to to do some homeschool work so and he the first one the oldest son my oldest son um, he takes um, violin cla um, glasses and also from piano so we don't have too much time and it takes me very long time to finish um, completely a baby especially rooting is the part that takes more time and I have to say she's mono rooted I use a a powerful light with a I don't know how to say that world in, in Spanish is lupa it's to, to see closer like a glass to see closer I don't know the name Spanish is my first language so I apologize for that but um, she's mono-rooted and I'm very, very happy, very pleased with the result of her hair and, and her finished. So it takes me a very long time to finish her. I think I root about a, a week and a half or two weeks, I'm not sure, but it takes me a long time because um, of the mono-rooting. 
so guys thank you very much jc and i say goodbye to you and i hope um the lighting is not so bad like i am seeing in the video um and you can see this little girl i don't know if i she can travel with her hair like that or i kind of like that like her hair like curly she looks so nice i don't know tell me in the comments please don't forget to comment uh, uh give a thumbs up and subscribe i always um um always try to answer all the comments so thank you very much to the new subscribers to my channel i will do another video and as my silicon baby her rooter uh, became sick she has covid so my baby girl is uh in australia and she cannot finish my baby so i am worrying she feels better i hope she gets better soon of course because i don't want anything to happen to her but also but, um, my baby will come home uh, to meet her so i am patiently waiting because art you cannot rush art because um these pieces of art um, takes a lot of time a lot of hours to make them so i am very um sad she is sick but also i am waiting patiently to her to recover and everything you know so i think she will come much much uh, longer time she will uh, take more time to get here so but um just an update nothing bad just we have to wait more so so JC and I say goodbye and I will pack her for her mommy and send her videos to see her and hopefully she will um, travel home on Monday and arrive there on Wednesday. So thank you very much for watching guys. Thank you for all you new subscribers and thank you for the ones that comes on time to time to see me and thank you for the time so um don't forget to su subscribe to comment and to give a thumbs up to this video if you like it uh for me to know because i don't know what do you think until you write that so say goodbye jc